Well, you've heard of the term brain fog. It's something that can impact some people who have had COVID even months after they first contracted it. Researchers at UCSF are trying to determine why some people are dealing with it and some aren't. Here's NBC Bay Area's Sergio Quintana. In a small study of 32 adults suffering from long COVID brain fog, researchers at UCSF found brain fluid had elevated levels of protein, suggesting swelling in the cranium. Lead researcher Dr. Joanna Helmuth says they believe COVID-19 may have triggered an unusual immune system response among the people they're studying. The brain fluid is different in these individuals with COVID-related cognitive changes. It suggests broadly that there might be more than one kind of uh, misdirected immune response that might be happening. This is an important finding because it shows brain fog from long COVID is physical instead of something triggered by anxiety or other psychological effects. It also means they might be able to create medicines to treat it, something doctors simply don't have right now. I'm seeing young, otherwise healthy people who got COVID we're getting these persistent cognitive changes afterwards. I'm seeing teenagers. I'm seeing people in their 20s, their 30s, their 40s. I'm seeing 80-year-olds. Late last year, a public service campaign called Voices of Long COVID was launched to illustrate the disease's debilitating effects even among young people. The goal of these testimonials is to encourage everyone to get vaccinated. I have a lot of nausea, dizziness, and a racing heart, and I can't comprehend words at times. It's surreal that I'm going through this. It feels like my brain is clouded and I can't think straight most of the time. Dr. Helmuth's research on brain fog is not related to this campaign, but she agrees the best way to reduce the chance of getting it is to get fully vaccinated and boosted. We do not know yet who is going to get these cognitive changes and who isn't. And so you really want to protect yourself because we don't know if they go away. In San Francisco, Sergio Quintana, NBC Bay Area News. All right.